What's up you guys, it's Mark here. If you want to master Airflow, you've come to the right place. My name is Mark Lamarty, I'm the head of customer training at Astronomer, and I'm the best-selling author in Udemy about Airflow. I've trained over 20,000 people how to get started with Airflow, how to create complex data pipelines, and more importantly, how to make their lives easier by automating the manual tasks. In today's video, we are going to discover a very important concept that you will use in your data pipelines, which is the XCOMS. Let's say that you have created a beautiful data pipeline and you have multiple tasks. You want to share data between those tasks. How can you do that? By using XCOMS. If you already know XCOMS, don't worry, watch the entire video. I'm pretty sure that you will learn something new about them. And if you are a total beginner, that's perfectly fine everything will be well explained. Oh, and by the way, I've put a lot of work in that video in order to give you the best possible value in only 10 minutes. So the only thing I ask you in favor is to smash the like button. That will help me a lot. And it is proven that by liking that video, you will become a better engineer. So without further waiting, let's dive into the world of XCOMS. To better explain XCOMS, let me give you a very simple use case. Let's imagine that you have the following data pipeline, with donoding underscore data and model underscore A, B and C in charge of training machine learning models based on the data right there. Each model will have an accuracy. And then in choose underscore model, you want to choose the best machine learning model based on the accuracy. Now the question is, in model A, we will have accuracy one, for example, then model B two and model C three, how can we share those accuracies with the task choose underscore model? How can we exchange data between choose underscore model and model C, model B, and model A in order to choose the best performing machine learning model? Well, to do this, we need XCOMs. But before exchanging data, Let's define what a XCOM is. XCOM stands for cross communication and allows to exchange messages or a small amount of data between tasks. You can think of a XCOM as an object where the value that you want to exchange is, and that XCOM is stored inside the metadatabase of Airflow. Keep in mind that each time you interact with XCOMs, you are interacting with the database of Airflow. Now, let me show you the composition of a XCOM. First, you have the key. The key is the identifier of your XCOM and that key will be used in order to fetch the XCOM from the database. Then you have the value, the value that you want to exchange. You have to make sure that the value is serializable with JSON or Pickle, otherwise it won't work. Then you have the timestamp defining when the XCOM was created. We have the execution date corresponding to the execution date of the DAG run where the XCOM was created. That's why if you have multiple DAG runs for the same DAG and multiple XCOMs with the same key, for each DAG run, Airflow will always choose the right XCOM. And the last two columns are the task ID, the task having generated the XCOM, and last but not least, we have the DAG ID from which DAG the XCOM was created. All right, now we know what compose the XCOM, let's start using it. At this point, if you want to follow what I'm going to show you on your computer, you can do it just by clicking on the link in the description below and you will land on this beautiful page. From there, you have to install Docker and then use the Docker Compose file in order to run Airflow on your machine. Once Airflow is running, you just need to copy the following code corresponding to the data pipeline that we are going to use along that video in a file xcom underscore dag dot py under the folder dags. Once you have done this, you can open your code editor and open xcom underscore dag dot py. Let me give you a quick explanation about that data pipeline. First, we have the task downloading underscore data using the bash operator and waiting for three seconds. Then we have the three tasks training underscore model A, B, and C that are dynamically generated, as you can see from the loop, and using the Python operator, calling the function underscore training underscore model. That Python function generates an accuracy randomly. Last but not least, we have the task choose underscore model using the Python operator as well and executing the function underscore choose underscore best model. Basically, this is where we will print out the best accuracy. So how can we access the accuracies from the task choose underscore model? Well, first we need to push those accuracies 
in XCOMS. Let's push our first XCOMS. Well, in order to do this, this is super simple. As we use the Python operator and we execute the function underscore training underscore model, where the accuracy is generated, in order to create an XCOM with that accuracy, we just have to return the accuracy. So the value that we want to share. Let's save the file. From the UI, turn on the toggle of the DAG, XCOM underscore DAG, click on it, go to graph view, and wait for the tasks to be completed. And now they are done, go to admin, XCOMS, and as you can see, we have pushed some XCOMS. And more specifically, from the tasks training underscore model A, B, and C, as we did by returning the accuracy from the function underscore training underscore model. By the way, since the XCOM has been automatically pushed by Airflow by returning a value, the key by default is return underscore value. So the question is, how can you push a XCOM with a specific key? Let's discover this with the method XCOM underscore push. Back to the data pipeline, in order to access the method XCOM underscore push, you need to access a task instance object. As we use the Python operator, you just need to path this argument, ti, in the Python function training underscore model. ti corresponds to the task instance object. From that task instance object, you can call the method XCOM underscore push. And this method expects two arguments. The first one is a key, so let's call it model underscore accuracy, and a value, which is, in our case, accuracy. Save the file, and let's trigger the data pipeline. Clean the XCOMs, select all of them, click on Actions, Delete, OK. Then go back to DAGs, click on XCOM underscore DAG, and trigger it manually. OK. Let's wait a little bit from the graph view. Now it's done, go back to Admin, XCOMs, and as you can see, this time the key of our XCOMS is model underscore accuracy. Okay, at this point, we know how to push a XCOM using the return keyword and XCOM underscore push. Now there are two things that I would like to talk about. First, as you can see, we can have multiple XCOMS having the same key as long as the task ID is different. If you use the same key with the same task ID, the previous XCOM will be overwritten. And last but not least, we have this XCOM that has been created from the task downloading underscore data. But if you go back to the code, we didn't create any XCOM from the bash operator. So what's going on here? Well, you have to know that by default, all operators that can push XCOMs will push XCOMs. With the bash operator, by default, the last line print on the standard output by the executed command will be pushed as an XCOM. In order to change that behavior, you need to modify one parameter that is common to all operators, which is do underscore XCOM underscore push. So here, if you type do underscore XCOM underscore push equals to false, then save the file and trigger the DAG again. As you can see, this time, downloading underscore data didn't push any XCOM. So now we have the XCOMs stored in the database of Airflow. How can we pull them from it? In order to do that, we need to use XCOM underscore pull. Like with XCOM underscore push, in order to access XCOM underscore pull, we need to use a task instance object. Again, in the parameter of choose best model, put TI in order to access the task instance object. And then you can pull the XCOM by typing TI dot XCOM underscore pool, where you need to specify two arguments. The first one is the key of the XCOM that you want to pull, in that case, model underscore accuracy, and the task IDs corresponding to the task where the XCOMs have been generated. In that case, we want to pull the XCOM from the task training underscore model underscore A, training underscore model underscore B, and training underscore model underscore C, like that. Then store the accuracies in a variable accuracies. And finally, we can print those accuracies with print accuracies. Save the file and let's find out if it works. From the graph view, trigger the DAG manually. Let's do it. Go back to graph view. Let's wait a little bit. Now it's done. Click on choose underscore model, go to log, then as you can see right there, we have the three accuracies as expected. 
Congratulations, at this point you know how to share data between tasks in Airflow by using scom underscore push and xcom underscore pull as well as the return keyword. Now, before using XCOMs everywhere in your data pipelines, let's talk about the XCOM limitations. You have to remember that Airflow is not a data processing framework. It is not Spark, neither Flink, so you should not share gigabytes or terabytes of data between your tasks, otherwise you will end up with a memory overflow error. Airflow is an orchestrator, it is the best orchestrator, so don't use it as a data processing framework, or you will end up with a memory overflow error. You have to know that XCOMs are limited in size. Depending on the database you use, if you are based on SQLite, your XCOMs are limited to 2 GB. If you are based on Postgres, your XCOMs are limited to 1 GB. And if you use MySQL, your XCOMs are limited to 64 GB. So be careful when you use XCOMs, only share a small amount of data. And last but not least, XCOMs create implicit dependencies between your tasks. Indeed, as soon as a task needs data from another task by using XCOMs, well, there is a dependency between those two tasks and you won't be able to see that dependency from the UI of Airflow. XCOMs are super powerful, but use them carefully. That's it about the XCOMs. Now you know how to share data between your tasks in Airflow. If you enjoyed that video, please smash the like button. That will help me a lot. Have a good day, take care, and see you for the next video.